A self-unloading bulk carrier berths at a bulk cargo terminal to discharge rock phosphate cargo. During discharging, cargo spills from the conveyor belts and gives rise to thick dust. The crew stops the unloading and leaves the area, keeping the tunnel door open for the dust to settle down. The crew returns back and finds the tunnel filled with dust. They stop the empty conveyor belt. A short while later, fire breaks out in the tunnel and smoke emanates from the open top of the loop belt casing. Emergency stations are called. The ship's emergency response team stops the mechanical ventilators for the tunnel and starts the water sprinkler system in the loop belt casing. Thick smoke prevents the firefighting team from entering the area to determine the location of the fire. While rigging the fire hoses, ERT finds the deck hydrants frozen. They connect two hoses to the engine room hydrants and one hose to the only working hydrant on deck. They direct the three hoses towards the doorway in the loop belt casing to contain the fire. The master informs the agent on telephone. The agent notifies the security guard at a factory in the port who in turn alerts the fire department. The master then contacts the ship's manager and the owner. A shore response team consisting of manager's representative, port authorities, and a fire department is set up to provide assistance to the ship. Firefighters make a few unsuccessful attempts to enter the tunnel through the engine room watertight door. Because of lack of experience in fighting shipboard fires, the fire department is unable to extinguish the fire. The ERT then floods the tunnel with seawater and the fire is brought under control. Assuming that the fire is extinguished, ERT starts the tunnel ventilation and makes preparation to enter the tunnel for inspection. The firefighting team enters the tunnel and finds that the fire is not extinguished. They see thick smoke emanating from the loop belt casing and a fire burning with greater intensity. The fire spreads rapidly to the accommodation through the door kept open for the fire hoses from the engine room. The fire is extinguished with the assistance of additional firefighters and equipment. One shore firefighter suffers severe burns during the operation and he is taken to the hospital. Vessel's self-unloading system is heavily damaged and approximately 25% of the accommodation is destroyed. Remaining areas of the accommodation sustains smoke and water damage.